Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to guide you through the process of installing Zabbix 7 Beta 3 on Debian 12 with MariaDB and Nginx. For this you would need already prepared server with Debian 12 and the internet connection. If you are ready, let's start. Firstly, let's update our Debian package list with a common sudo apt update. It would retrieve the newest package list. So once we're done, let's install MariaDB with command sudo apt get install MariaDB server. It gives me a list of packages which we would like install and we say yes. It might take a couple of minutes of installing it. Once it will finish installation, we will run uh, MySQL secure installation, which should secure the database itself. It would ask a couple of questions, which we should answer. So, as it's ready, let's secure it. We do that with sudo mysql secure installation. It asks for password of root. So we put it. As we're running local, it asks if you want to switch and see. Yes. Change root password we don't want. Remove anonymous users would like. This allow root login remotely, of course. Remove test database and access to it. And reload the privileges. Good. So we have secured it. You can check also the service. We do sudo system ctl status MariaDB. Okay, it's up and running and it's enabled. Good. Now let's proceed with installation of Zabbix. Most of the required comments you could find on the Zabbix official website. Zabbix.com download. You would select this. Your options. In case you install it, MariaDB is still setting MySQL and you would get most of the comments. So let's back to installation. Install a Zabbix repository. So we download the app file. Then we install this with dpg command and we'll do again update. Zabbix repository ready. Now to install Zabbix, let's run this command, which you will find also set in the guide. It gives you again a list of the packages and say yes. This part also might take a couple of minutes. Good, it got installed. So now let's create our initial database. We we'll do with MariaDB and root. Yeah, and We'll copy the same commands also from a guide for creating the database. Just please select some strong password from your case. And in case you're running database on separate server, then you need to set different host. We create a user. So this is a part of which you would need to change. I'll keep the default one, but for your, please change it to some strong password. When we grant privileges. Also, if you're running some remote host, you would need to put it here IP. As we're running locally, I'll keep local host. Not to forget is to set the login trust function. Uh, so this one giving that it will not check super, super privileges while it's importing database, we'll disable it after it. And create. So we have initial database ready. Now we will import the database and we'll do with this command. It asks for password. So the password which we 
created for a user and privilege so in general this one and now it might take a couple of minutes okay i think got imported so we're back and disable this logbin trust and do with sudo mariadb and the fruits sorry the fruits set it if set global login bin trust and function creation equals zero good and we create so we have database we have imported that now let's configure database for a zabbix server and what we'll do if on zabbix server config file so sudo do if none or any other prefer editor config file is on etc zabbix Zabbix server. Here we go down to find that database. So as you see, db user and db password. So we uncomment this line and we have to put the password of your database. Exit editor. Now let's configure nginx for a Zabbix. That also we do with sudo nano and it will be on. ATC Zabbix Nginx. We are on comment listen. I will put my server name, which is Zabbix mylab.log. Okay, save it. And we have all configured. Let's restart Zabbix service. So we do with sudo systemctl restart. Zabbix server, Zabbix agent, also Nginx, and PHP. Restarted. Let's check status sudo system. Could I say here? States. Okay, Zabbix server up and running. Zabbix agent also, nginx and php also. Good. So now let's go to a browser and continue our setup. It got welcome screen telling Zabbix 7, we say next step. And as you see, we have some messages here which we don't really like. Let's look at other ones also. Okay, so we have local, which is fail, and PHP core. So let's back to the server to fix it. To fix locale, what we do is set locale to ETS, ENES UTF-8. Of course, we need to run with sudo. And to fix the PHP curl, we do sudo apt get install PHP curl. Okay, let's adjust that, then yes. Good, so got installed, let's back to the browser. So let's try to back here, and next again. Good, we see gone, this message gone, and here it's now all okay. Let's do next step. So our database, MySQL, I'm running locally with, in my case, default port, with default database name, and user and I need to put password here and next let's ask for Zabbix server name let's put Zabbix my lab local I'll keep the default time zone this one let's go next so it gives a summer again and we hit next okay congratulations installed so let's click finish for first login, what it asks, we put username admin with capital A and password Zabbix. And let's sign in. Okay, and we even, so we see the main dashboard here. On the left side, we see most of the sections like monitoring, services, inventor, reports, data collection, alerts, users, administrator. So we've installed Zabbix. 
you're ready to start exploring around. Keep in mind this is beta version, so that's not supposed to be in production, but that's the place where you can start look what expected behaviors could be when the 7 be released as normal release. Thank you for watching, and if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials like this. See you next video.